How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial we're going to go back to the basics. In the last tutorial I did yesterday I made a tutorial on how to make a clicker game and uh, I didn't include one part of the, the tutorial because I uh, mistakenly assumed that everybody understood how the page order works. Um, that's probably not the case. Not everybody will actually understand how to event things and so this is going to be a very basic tutorial. Most of you will probably already understand uh, this, but some of you may not. So it's going to be a, a useful tutorial for those who are just getting started and to use this one to help you understand other tutorials in the future and other tutorials I've done in the past. <clears throat> so basically how it works, I was doing this card game and we click a button and it adds to the coin count and then it you upgrade your city. <clears throat> and I set up all the logic in the in the past tutorial where you set up your pictures and you do your common events um, right here and you know it adds to this variable right but some of you may not understand what this variable is actually doing and how to use this to turn pages so that's what this tutorial is going to be how to use this variable to toggle pages and how pages work so every time that that uh, event happens we click on that button it it adds to the variable if you have the gold well what's happening is let's take a look at this first page so on your event you have a tabs right you have tabs that's got numbers and how these t these numbered tabs will work is it will always try to run the highest number page if it meets all the conditions to do it um, so right off the bat at the beginning of the game it's gonna try to run page 5 because on this event because page 5 is the highest number of all these pages now how you use these conditions is you make it so that in order for this page to to happen you have to somehow in the event manipulate that variable to get up to this point so we're using the clicker city growth variable right here as the condition so right off the bat page five will not run because variable city clicker or clicker city growth is actually at zero because all variables start at zero from the beginning and all switches start is off from the beginning so it's going to try to run page five at the beginning of the game it's going to see that this variable is zero which means it's not greater than equal to four so it's going to go to the next page. It's going to say, okay, well, we can't run five right now. Let's look at four. Can we run four? Well, like we said, clicker city growth is at zero. So no. Okay, can we run three? Nope, because it's still not equal than greater than two. So what about on, pay, on tab two? Well, clicker city growth is zero. So it's not going to run page two. Up, oh, no conditions for the first page. So right at the beginning of the game, we want this event to work on page one. Now, how does this event go to page two? <clears throat> well, this up, updates on every frame of the game. It actually checks if there's been any change. So you keep the priority below characters, doesn't really matter. Um, the trigger is going to be action button because there's no content. So whenever you have a blank empty contents, you just set it to action button and then it, you know, it'll do nothing and it won't eat up any resources. So when we click on that button that uh, allows us to have, uh, if we have over 20 gold and we click on that button, we've got the conditions met. It's going to, uh, let's look at the common event, it's going to add one to that variable. So when we click on this button, you know, we're using Yenfly's picture common events. So we click on the button, it runs this common event. If we have over 20 gold, greater than or equal to 20, take away that 20 gold, show an animation and add to that variable. <clears throat> so when it adds to that variable, it's now turning page 1 to page 2 because see now clicker growth is equal to 1. It's greater than or equal to, which is because because it's 1. So now this variable is controlling this this event. <clears throat> And you can imagine the same thing is going to happen when we get to, to uh, 20 gold and we click on the button again. It's going to uh, increase that variable and it's going to go to this page. Now, how do you make it so that a one image picture becomes a two image picture using this variable? Well, you create a new event. That's it. So on the second event, we don't have five pages. Now we only got three pages. So right off the bat, it's going to try to run page three, right? Because this is the order of events, how things work. It's going to say, okay, is Clicker City Growth four? Nope. Okay, well, let's check page two. Is Clicker City Growth greater than or equal to three? Nope. Well, then it it's, has to go to page one. No conditions. So right off the bat, this event is going to be blank with no image. When we upgrade it to two, nothing's going to happen because it has to be greater than or equal to, to City Growth of three. So by the time this page goes to... Uh, uh, page four which is variable is greater than or equal to three it's going to show the, the right half on this event but then it's going to show the left half of that event right here now you can imagine we're going to do this again to make the castle which is four uh, two by two right four four tiles so 
uh, when we upgrade it to fourth, the bottom left is going to switch to a castle. But um, all we have is this castle bottom right when this is four and this castle bottom left when this is four. So we need to do two more events, right? You can imagine what's going to happen. We're going to have a blank page because it's going to check at the beginning of the game. Remember, can we run page two for this event? Nope, because clicker city growth is not greater than or equal to four. So this is our condition to control that this even appears or not. So right off the bat, it's going to be blank. It's an image there the whole time, but it's a, a blank transparent image that does nothing. Um, and it's not obstructing or anything. So it's going to stay blank until it gets to uh, clicker city growth of four. Then it's going to show visible for the top left. And you can basically copy paste this event, change the image on page two to the top right of the castle. And that way, when we run the game and the event starts, it's at zero. <clears throat> We've got four events in the bottom there. But you're only going to see the bottom right one because it's set to be a tent if it's set to zero. See that tent there? So we click that. We don't have gold. But we click this. We get up to 20 gold. Now we meet the conditions to run this button, and it's going to play an animation and upgrade this to the next page, which is causing the image to change. So we're really just changing the event's image. That's it. <coughs> we do it again. Boom. Now it updated that variable, and now it's checking to see if all of these events meet any conditions to switch pages, and only one does. So we do the same thing again. We click on that button until we get enough coins. We click on the growth button. And now two of those four events meet the conditions because it's set to greater than or equal to three. So because the variable is now three. We do it one more time. We click the button again. And now it's going to upgrade all four of them. So it's the same demonstration as yesterday, except now we're looking at a different aspect of making the game, right? We're talking about a very basic core concept that I overlooked yesterday that some people may need to know about. Uh, well, everybody needs to know about this if you plan to do any eventing in MV. But uh, a lot of people already understand how this works, but some people may not understand how it works. So the last rundown, and then we'll end the tutorial, is it will always run the highest number page if it meets the conditions to do so. So let's make an example. If I put a new page and it's blank, what do you think is going to happen? Well, you're right. It's going to run this blank page because it meets this condition right off the bat. So no matter what happens, this none of these five events or, or pages are ever going to be seen because the conditions for the higher number have already been met. So it, this, this page will always happen right off the bat and nothing behind it will ever happen because all of these conditions are met and it has no conditions. So this makes this whole, uh, this whole event uh, obsolete. So all you'd have to do is delete page six or put another condition <clears throat> clicker city growth greater than equal to five now right so now we can get it up to three four and then five it'll do this one so what will we do to further upgrade it well we can change this up let's make this now a different castle right let's make it uh, it was this sandstone castle right now we're gonna upgrade it to uh, I don't know we could upgrade it to this castle boom <clears throat> So then what we can do is replicate that same image by going to tab three and uh, basically copy paste that event page, change the number to five, change the image that it's going to change it to. Now we're going for bottom left and now we're going to go for top left right here. We we'll just go ahead and copy paste that, change this to five, change this one to top left there. And then we can go here on this one, go to the second page, copy, paste that event, change this to five, change this image to the top right, boom! We've got four and five on those. So now, if we were to go through the whole thing, we would cycle it to the next image as well. And we could continue to do this and add other images on the side uh, to increase it, right? And keep building on our clicker city builder. So let's get to where we were at. Uh, you could probably do more than 20 clicks if you're doing a game like this. It's just to, to speed through the whole process. And you could even have multiple options. Like imagine another button over here that instead of growing this main city, you're growing your barracks. You're spending your coins on your barracks. And may maybe you have a timer and then people will attack your city after enough time. Or you know what I mean? You could come up with all kinds of crazy ideas for this clicker game. 
Um, but it's all being controlled with with your page events. And you see how now we've upgraded to the next tier, the next castle. And, uh, and you can continue to go through and do that. But basically, I wanted to go over and make sure you guys understood how the page uh, order works and how to use a variable to toggle and flip through pages. Because in the, t the clicker tutorial, although I thought it was a really good tutorial, it lacked some of this information. Uh, and I, this is something that I took for granted. I thought maybe everybody knew this subconsciously. I didn't even think about it, but maybe some people don't understand how these paid the eventing pages work. So I wanted to make sure this tutorial was out there and available for people to learn how to uh, read events. And this is basically eventing 101 and and what page order and page condition does and, and how to use variables to manipulate pages of an event to change images. So hopefully you guys like this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I've got RPG Maker Envy tutorials. i got Game Maker Studio 2 tutorials. I do first impressions, videos, QA testing, and all that good stuff. Please support me on Patreon if you like what I'm doing and want to support me. Um, yeah. Like the video if you liked it share it with your friends if you think it could help them get into it it's also a very beginner one so it would be a good one to share thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye